Supporters of gay marriage are calling today's two major rulings by the Supreme Court a victory for civil rights. Cheers erupted outside of the Supreme Court when the justices chose not to rule on same-sex marriage in California, making way for more unions. But the court did strike down part of the Defense of Marriage Act. Fox 4's Sean Rabb joins us now to break down both rulings and, Sean, what they're going to mean for Texas. Yeah, Clarice, this was a historic day for gay rights. The Supreme Court gave the nation's legally married gay couples much cause to celebrate. Two landmark Supreme Court rulings that kind of strengthen gay marriage rights, but certainly doesn't remove all barriers to same-sex unions. Now let's take a look at some questions and answers regarding today's court rulings. First of all, do the rulings by the Supreme Court mean federal benefits are now allowed for all gay couples? And the answer to that question is yes, for those couples who are legally married in states that honor and recognize same-sex marriages. Right now, that's 12 states and Washington, D.C. We'll talk about what this means for our state, for Texas, in a moment. Another question, what about expanding now gay marriage in all states? Well, uh, the high court in both rulings did not address that at all today. In fact, the court said it had no standing at all uh, in talking about a case which it reviewed as it related to California, California's Proposition 8. In that particular case, the court simply said that what was done in California to challenge same same-sex marriage back in 2008 essentially was unconstitutional and the court did not speak at all about the validity of gay marriage but it did today open the door for same-sex marriages to resume in California. I think this is the first time I've ever cried tears of joy. Um, it's a celebration for LGBT families. We're excited. For C.D. Kerbin, who spoke outside the Supreme Court in March when the High Court heard oral arguments in same-sex marriage and Defense of Marriage Act, today is a victory. And the Get Equal Texas Facebook page and its posts reflect that. But sadly, here in Texas, we still have an uphill battle. Mark, Major Jimenez, and partner Bo Chandler were arrested in Dallas last year trying to obtain a marriage license. The pair married in Vermont, but that marriage not recognized in Texas. But there's still a lot of us in the United States that cannot marry the person that we want to marry and have it legally recognized in the state that we want to get married in. And while the marriage still won't be recognized by state law... A same-sex couple that is married in another state legally that reside in Texas now, after this opinion today, are entitled to federal benefits just as any other couple being married. Look, what happened is the Supreme Court caved to political correctness. First Baptist Dallas Pastor Robert Jeffress says in 1885, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled marriage as being between a man and a woman. And I ask people, well, what's changed in 130 years that would make the Supreme Court change? It certainly isn't the Constitution. That hasn't changed. The culture has changed. And that's what prompted the court decision today. We still have a lot of things we need to fight, but this is a big win. You know, hate was dealt a very big blow today. Now, everyone I interviewed today, opponents, proponents, and Clarice even disinterested attorneys, all tell me they believe today's action will move the nation one step closer to all states recognizing same-sex marriages. So what are the federal benefits that same-sex couples who are legally married can now enjoy? Well, uh, you know, it's kind of everything that you would imagine, income tax, retirement, pension, all of those kinds of things. There are more than 1,000 federal laws, though, that uh, married folks enjoy. Again, everything from income and inheritance taxes to health benefits and pensions. In states where gay marriage is legal, same-sex couples now, Clarice, again, they may actually be looking forward to filing jointly in April when they file their income tax returns. What about here in Texas? Does anything change? Well, nothing changes, again, except if you've been married in another state and you come here, then you're entitled, and you live here now, you're entitled to those federal benefits. What else may change is kind of complicated. Here's why. Where legally married gay couples live may have an impact on what benefits they can obtain. I, here's what I mean by that. Social Security survivor benefits, for example, depend on where a couple is living when a spouse dies. Now, if that happens in a state that bans or doesn't recognize the union, like Texas, well, right now, not, sh not for sure if that surviving spouse will be entitled to those payments. But immigration law, mm -hmm. which is certainly important to our state, that only looks at where people were married, not where they live. And already today, the government says it's going to extend residency status, U.S. status, to those folk who are married to someone who, uh, you know, is already here. They, they were married in one of those states or in the District of Columbia where same-sex marriage is recognized. Comprehensive coverage, Sean. Thanks. Okay.